if you're short and want to gain a few inches, you're in luck, become an astronaut and feel taller. At least while you're in space. Japanese astronaut Norishige Kanai said Monday on Twitter that he is three inches taller since arriving at the International Space Station on December. 19 Weightlessness has that effect, without gravitational force compressing the spine, fluid between the discs fluctuates as they temporarily expand, like a coiled spring unspooled from the top. Good morning, everyone. Today I share some serious news. Since coming to space, I have grown 9 centimeters. This is the most I've grown in three weeks since junior high school, Kanai wrote. Three and a half inches is a notable height difference. NASA has said about two inches of growth is typical and expected in space. Nine centimeters is a lot, but it is possible, knowing that every human body is different, said Libby Jackson, a program manager for the United Kingdom Space Agency, the BBC reported. Humans on Earth regularly grow and shrink in a similar way every night, said J.D. Polk, NASA's chief health and medical officer. As you lie down, your spine decompresses by as much as half a centimeter. It compresses again while you are in a standing or sitting position. So the phenomenon is more earthbound than it would first seem. While growth is temporary and astronauts revert to their normal height when they slip the bonds of space and return home, the height difference must be accounted for when figuring the dimensions of spacesuits, stations, and vehicles. Space is at a premium in, well, space, with each inch scrutinized to pack in instruments, tools, plants, and insects for experiments and other essentials such as food and water. That means the living and working quarters are tight. On the Russian Soyuz TMA spacecraft, the vehicle used to get astronauts to and from the ISS, personnel are limited to 6 feet 3 inches so they can fit inside the seats. That means anyone at that limit on Earth would be restricted from ISS operations. I am a little worried I won't fit in my seat on the return trip on Soyuz, Kanai said, though he was probably joking. Polk said the spacesuits and seat liners inside the spacecraft were designed with fluctuating bodies in mind, including expanded spines. He and others are not concerned about Kanai squeezing into the seat, each one fitted with a liner customized for and molded to the body of each astronaut and taken aboard the Soyuz to ensure a tight fit during the violent reintroduction to gravity. 36510 pick.twitter.com slash fbb2g0lklb To help absorb the shock of landing, explosive charges fired and instantly pushed our seats forward so that our faces were very close to the instrument panel, astronaut Ron Garan wrote in October 2011, describing re-entry from the Soyuz vehicle. Once the vehicle re-enters Earth's atmosphere, astronauts are again compressed to their normal height, Polk said. Taller spacewalking hopefuls had their dreams dashed in earlier decades. The country's first astronauts, the legendary Mercury 7 crew including John Glenn and Alan Shepard, were all under six feet it would have been too much for anyone taller inside the claustrophobic Mercury capsule.